So today I'm going to talk about the spirit world or the spirit realm, okay? So the spirit world is the unseen world, right? And in the spirit world where there, there are two forces, right? So there's the good forces and the evil forces, right? So the good forces obviously is God and his angels and Christ, right? And then there's the evil forces, right? So it's Satan, demons, evil spirits, fallen angels. So, you know, we're in a spiritual battle. So it's the good forces versus the evil forces, right? So um, the Bible talks about the evil forces, right? Um, it talks about these forces in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12. Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. I just read Ephesians 6.12, and it says that we're not wrestling against flesh and blood. That means human beings, right? Or uh, we're not wrestling against anything that's physical that we can see, but we're wrestling against things that we can't see, okay? And that's evil spirits, right? Fallen angels. So this is who we wrestle with, okay? This is who we're fighting with, okay, as Christians, okay? It's things that we can't see, okay? And Galatians 1, 3 to 4, Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins, that he might deliver us from this present evil world, according to the will of God and our Father. I just read Galatians chapter 1, verses 3 to 4. And that verse basically tells us that God delivered us from this evil world. That means he took us out of this evil world. That message applies to Christians, okay? So the, God basically wants us to know that this world is evil, okay? And that's why it's, the Bible says to not conform to this world, to not conform to it, okay? Because this world is evil, right? The Bible lets us know that this world has been taken over by uh, demonic forces, evil spirits in high places okay so that's why god does not want us to partake in this world because it's evil and it's fallen okay first john 2 15 to 16 love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world I just read 1 John 2, 15 to 16. And that verse tells us to not love the world. It says, do not love the world or the things that are in the world. Whoever loves the world, the love of the Father is not in you. Okay? So what does it mean to love the world or the things that are in the world? So the things that are of the world are material things, okay? So a lot of people desire to have, you know, maybe a luxury apartment or a house, you know, luxury cars and clothes. Sure, um, God gives people these things and some of you may have these things, but uh, the Bible tells us it, really we shouldn't be de desiring those things, okay? Because God's spirit dwells in us, okay? So you really shouldn't be uh, desiring things that are outside of God's spirit that dwells inside of us. If you get what I'm saying, okay? Because God's spirit dwells inside of us, you shouldn't love anything outside of God's spirit, okay? So that verse, again, it tells us whoever loves the world, you do not love God, okay? Because God's spirit dwells inside of us. The world is outside of us, okay? And God's spirit dwells inside, okay? First Corinthians 3.16 don't you know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? 1 Corinthians 3.16 says that we are the temple of God, our bodies, right? And God's Spirit dwells inside of us, okay? So we have the physical body, right? So that's the outer shell, the physical body, the outer shell, and then we have God's Spirit that dwells inside of us, okay? So that's what I've been trying to get people to understand, okay? That this is all spiritual because God is a spirit. His spirit dwells inside of us. Okay? Titus 2, 11, 12. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness 
and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. So I just read Titus 2, 11, 12, and that verse tells us to, to deny the worldly lust and ungodliness, right? And, and then it tells us to live soberly, righteously, and godly. So what does it mean to, to deny worldly lust and ungodliness? So an example of this, right, is to stop drinking alcohol, right, stop fornicating, okay? stop uh like i said in the beginning stop like trying to desire the things of the world okay so that could mean you know don't put all your hope in material things and money things like that okay but it says to live righteously and godly okay because god's spirit dwells inside of us okay we should be uh, building this relationship with God, right? We should be connecting with God's spirit, okay? You have to connect with God's spirit and continue to read your Bible, okay? And stay in prayer, okay? So connect with the spirit of God that dwells inside of us. Again, read your Bible and stay in prayer, okay? Stop drinking alcohol, stop smoking weed, okay? Um, stop fornicating if you're still doing these things, okay? So that's today's message.